important. I think all the research has shown beyond a shadow of a doubt that um, hand hygiene is the single most important thing that we can do to um, decrease the development of infections or the spread of infections. So um, I, I don't think there's any doubt about that now with all the research that's been out there. You know, you certainly want to do hand hygiene before you eat. So there's, you know, your three meals a day or, you know, if you're having snacks, um, you know, after you go to the restroom. So that would be another time that, that no matter what you're doing, those are times that you would definitely want to see somebody doing that. Um, you know, if somebody blows their nose or has a cough or a sneeze, you know, times like that would escalate the number that you need. So it, it's going to be dependent on factors like that. In terms of how many times a person should versus how many times they do, um, you know, in, in the healthcare setting, there's all kinds of data out there that shows that healthcare workers don't do it as often or as, you know, frequent as they should. However, um, our data now here at Broman, um, at Advocate Broman, and with the system, we're running about 96%, but we've been really dogging that for um, at least 18 months now, really, really hard. So we've had um, nice improvement in that. If you have visible um, dirt of any sort um, on your hands, if you see something on your hands, then you need to use soap and water. But if your hands are not visibly dirty, then using the alcohol gel is a best practice and is absolutely a safe practice, and so I would encourage it. You know, there's a lot of value for the for the the hand dryers from the perspective that um, environmentally, you know, they're, they're, there's just the environmental thing, and, and and you get them completely dry. Getting them completely dry is important because that's the way you're going to prevent chapping. So I would say that that's the advantage. But otherwise, however you do it is good. The bath towel's fine as long as the bath towel's not dirty. So, you know, again, it just comes back to that common sense kind of thing that, that once you've washed your hands and you've rinsed them off and you're ready to dry them, just whatever means you use, don't recontaminate your hands. I absolutely believe that hand hygiene done consistently when people should do it is the best prevention for infection that we have. And, and if we just got everybody to rally around that, we would be, we'd be much healthier.